First of all, I'm here with Keith Hunter. The seems to be the TMT killer. Shut up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, mm -hmm. um, proud of you. you. Did a great Stay job. Up. And um, like I said, it was a very, very exciting fight. Mm -hmm. But in the ring, I mean, I seen where it was some give and take in there too. Okay. Yes. You yes. know. So I mean, and that's what that, that's what really made it entertaining. Okay. But mm -hmm. give me your assessment of the fight. Um, like a, if I had to grade myself, I would say maybe a, a C plus on that one. Um, low. I'm a hard critic of myself. Um, like you said, you just told me it was give and take. I like to dominate. Uh, I possibly was really going in there to stop him more than anything, but I know he was seasoned, so that was a tall order for me. Um, you know, um, like I said, I know I was dominating, controlling the rounds by keeping my distance with my jab. That was um, my key going in, is just keeping my jab really on top of him. You know, different variations of the jab. And then I think that's what carried me through um, all of the rounds really. And then I gave it up the ninth round a little bit where it was, like you said, ten, yeah. tit for tat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I picked it up the tenth round. And that's, yeah. that's how I see it though. No, I mean, it was don't get me wrong, it was still, even though okay. it was give and take, right. I thought it was still a dominant performance okay. in terms of... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who did that? I know, he's staying... <laughs> no, I'm staying. I'm staying. No, but I'm just saying, overall, I mean, yes. it was clear that you won the fight. I thought that okay. you won at least nine, if not, you know, eight or cool. nine, nine right. rounds of the, you know... I appreciate it. That team. mean a lot coming from OG right here. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm OG, you know that? You didn't know that, did man, you? Man, OG. Oh. <clears throat> okay, you can see it. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, that means a lot coming from, uh, like I said, OG, season back. Hey, Jeff, you had mentioned one thing I like to hear you talk about is, is you mentioned that you like how he uses size. Oh, right. Well, not only that, I mean, the one thing with, that I like is the fact that, especially when you're using your jab, you, okay. you always keep your distance. Okay. You know, and I mean, the one thing that it seems like to me, that's a little different with you than most fighters mm -hmm. is that sometimes it looks like you go to sleep in there but no 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 I, no no I'm not saying that in a bad way no I because what I'm saying is that sometimes you'll just you'll be like throwing the punches like this and then all of a sudden them punches come hard right, that, right. that's what I was telling Jody when we, was watching, when we was watching the fight I told him I said look yeah. I said, he said, he said, keep it like he's tired. I said, no, he ain't tired. <laughs> I said, he believe me, he's gonna start loading up some bombs. Right, right, and, right. And that. exactly, that's what mm -hmm. happened. And that's the that's the one thing that I've seen that mm -hmm. really you're like the only fighter that I see mm -hmm. that you know you kind of can put guys to sleep and okay. making them think by you know you, right, you get right, relaxed exactly. and you're not you're not pounding them as as hard mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I mean, I think that's a, that's, that's a special quality. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been knowing me since I was a kid, so you have a little bit better insight than a lot of people. But at that moment, definitely, because it's kind of like, I just know, like, I had to conserve some of my energy. I'm more of an offensive-minded person, so I knew I had to not be greedy and really kind of score my points and then not be there to give it back. Right. So that's, you know, like you said, and that, that also comes from you helping me, you know, as a kid working with Mitts, you know, like you you teaching me a little bit of how and establish of how to keep my because it's, it's different from just like knowing but then applying right. is a little different and I think like you definitely evolved me there from a from a young boy yeah, you get me? So, you know so, what I'm saying? oh I gotta give it to me you hit him with some big shots were you surprised you didn't get him out of there I was surprised how well he was taking it for sure you know there was a couple times I, I knew I was close to it but like I said being not greedy on it then He's a season, you know, so I knew he was going to be there, really. He took some. We know you got a chin now, so. Uh, I told him. Feel that. any of those? Yeah. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> uh, I felt more of a uh, hit, credit him through a body shot more than anything up top. The ninth round, we did trade, and, you know, uh, I'm not going to say I didn't feel him, but it's like really wasn't effective to stop my momentum too much. You got a. Who's the next TNT guy? Whoever they put in front of me, man. For me and Floyd, personally, I have a good relationship. He always gives me, you know, uh, mad points and respect. So it's nothing. It's just business. So originally, Cameron Crow got signed by TMT. Yeah. But he beat Maurice Lee. Yes. Now you beat two in a row. Yeah, two and zero. Oh. Put TMT on your uh, trunks here sooner or later, maybe. I mean, like I said, if the right opportunity and right space and time comes, yes, for sure. You know, I. I 
I love the TMT, really, you know. All right, champ. Thank Appreciate you. That. you Appreciate know, you. OG. And um, keep winning, man. I mean, I'm going to come by your gym and holler at you. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Appreciate you. Hey, all right.